Hello. Yeah, welcome, Dave. Thanks, Dad. Good to be here. Good stuff. How, How are you? Doing? Not too bad at all. Having a good old uh, Sunday morning for myself now. I can't imagine. Yeah. Well, pe people at home don't know it's Sunday morning, but it's Sunday, it's Sunday morning. It's Sunday morning, yeah. What course do you do, Dave? Uh, civil engineering in UCC. Uh, I think it's now called civil, structural, and environmental engineering, though. Oh, they but, changed uh, the name. Yeah, I think so. Big one. Wait, See, you've learned something already. How is the course structured, Dave? Going in first year, and it's a uh, general engineering. Everybody's lumped together. Like, I, geez, I think maybe 120 for us in first year, something mm -hmm. like that. It's a bit and bigger then, than your leaving cert class. It's a bit bigger than your leaving cert class, <laughs> right? And then uh, you get a taste of each of the four: engineering, civil, electrical, energy, and uh, process and chemical. Yeah. And then at the end of the year, you decide which two are your favourite, and you submit them as your two choices, okay. and you're guaranteed to get one of those two. And what you get is based on the results you get. Whatever you choose, uh, when you go into second year, it kind of narrows down. Look at that dog! Dog. <laughs> All of a sudden, oh, yeah. life is just <laughs> so simple. Yeah. And then uh, when you go to second year, it's narrowed down a little bit more. And then third year, it focuses even more. Focus! You get a taste of a lot of other various fields within physics, like okay. thermodynamics and a lot of fluid mechanics, actually, as well, and soil mechanics. In third year, they all have a choice to. Um, each of the engineers has a choice to placement. Yeah. And then fourth year, uh, you do find your project. Effectively, they assign a projects like actual building projects to groups of four within the course. Yeah. And uh, the group, the project we were given was uh, to design a refugee like shed or a house or whatever. Nice. Um, like it was, it was pretty, pretty topical. It's really practical. Yeah, yeah. Practical and topical with all the refugees. I think at the time they're in uh, the can. Oh, no, yeah. sure. Breaking the groups of four, we'd uh, Changing the world one brick at a time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trying to describe to people, what does a civil engineer actually do? Uh, well. <laughs> So the four main areas uh, within civil engineering are environmental engineering, structural engineering, transport engineering, and geotechnical engineering. Yeah. Uh, environmental engineering is kind of just serving society through provision of safe drinking water, uh, dealing with atmospheric and water pollution, uh, flooding and climate change, so all very topical. Yeah. Uh, structural engineering then is kind of designing of buildings and bridges, uh, high-rise buildings and just structures yeah. in general. Uh, transport engineering then uh, kind of just involves the construction and operation of uh, the essential arteries for modern day society, I guess, yeah. uh, namely roads, railways, ports, and airports. Yeah. Uh, and then geotechnical engineering is uh, just the building and designing yeah. of uh, anything underground, really, such as tunnels for underground railways, uh, dams, and foundations. Yes. Trying to like think back all the way back to your leaving cert now. What um, were your strongest subjects? Uh, maths. Yeah. So maths, physics, by maths. What did you get in maths? Uh, A1. Nice. Mm. It's pretty good, lads. Yeah. <laughs> it isn't that you want to say. I think you're looking hot anyway. <laughs> what are a lot of people in your course doing now? I'd say 60% of people have stayed with civil engineering. Nice. And 40% have gone off doing something different with finance or something like that. Yeah. There are kind of two broad branches you can go out into. There's either um, contracting engineering, whereby okay. you'll be working on sites and overseeing projects mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. And working closely with like subcontractors, like laying concrete and stuff like that. But like you'll be kind of the managing the project, like okay. on the ground. Yeah. And then there's consulting engineering where you'll kind of be in an office, you're kind of focusing on the design aspects, so like the size of beams and how big a wall can be, or how tall this column can be, and right. stuff like that. Or are there many jobs coming out of engineering? Yeah, there are loads moment in civil, all right. Um, I think both in contracting and consulting. Okay. Uh, so no one has a problem getting a job right now in no, college. Not at all. I think anybody who wanted. Going to engineering out of our course has has a job had a job, a job. anybody that's the job yeah literally <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing now what have you done since your degree uh, I went up to Smurfit in Dublin actually and did a master's in quantitative finance thanks so I'm a master of science now <laughs> believe it or not <laughs> it's not cool to not know what you're talking about and I'm currently working in AIB nice. on the query resolution team in Cork nice yeah. so your options are definitely not limited after doing engineering uh, absolutely not I mean. One thing I'd say is, if you're unsure of what to do, you can't go wrong yeah, with doing can't. engineering because you can just like you can decide what you want to do three years down the line, but just rest assured that engineering is the best foundation you can get. Yeah, because they take engineers everywhere. They do in all walks of life. Can you give me a, a latte? Um, 
rather not to be honest. <laughs> no. I would also say uh, structured study plans are massive. Uh, you go two hours on, 45 minutes break, two yeah. hours on again, 45 minute break, yeah. two hours on, 45 minute break, and then two hours again. But that was kind of when I'm trying Take that down. <laughs> I asked you more to find out. So, course, what you expected when you came in first year? Uh, yeah. Pretty much, I got, I knew I knew it would be kind of mathsy and a lot very physics orientated and yeah. uh, and all that. Um, so yeah, I, I think it was pretty much. I, I one thing I remember thinking was that I didn't realize you'd have to work as hard. Okay. That's one thing I actually do remember thinking to myself. It's because college college is so different to like the leaving cert. There's no yeah, one yeah, hold, yeah, holding yeah. your hand through no, the whole no, thing. No, no, no. And then at the very end, you kind of wish someone did. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cr cradled you at night. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so then, like we were going to be working a lot of weekends, like. Any advice for a leaving cert that doesn't particularly know what they want to do? Uh, I would say if you're struggling to find something that you want to do, focus firstly on what you actually like, mm -hmm. which is just the most important thing. Mm -hmm. um, if you can't really think of anything that you like but you know you're good at maths, I would say just engineering is just you know fantastic base. You yeah. can do anything off of it. Yeah. Um, they hire you in all walks of life. And it's almost yeah. like laying the foundation so before laying, building the structure on top of it. And then come the columns. <laughs> and then the walls. By the way, a big shout out to Filter Coffee there, lads. Oh, yeah. I think the main piece of advice you'd give anyone is like... This one? Yes! Best of luck. Good luck with that in there. Good luck with the rest of your... Uh, I will. Oh, what? One, two, three, four!